Hey guys, it's Norm, and for today's tested show and tell, I want to share with you another one of my many obsessions. So, at my house, I have a collection of dozens of art toys. Uh, you might know them as designer vinyl figures, or urban toys, or just collectible figurines, but these are about like a 6 inch to 12 inch figures made of plastic or vinyl that's this entire phenomenon of a subset of the toy community. Uh, it's this weird intersection of commercial toy production, injection molded plastic and vinyl figures, and designer art culture. So you have artists like Frank Kozik who's designing the, the Labbit figures, or Amanda Vazell with her woodworking figures, real awesome artists designing figurines which are then mass produced and done in limited editions or open editions. And I have a couple here today. When I go to an event like Comic-Con, there's actually an entire section of that convention, rows and rows, devoted to these art toys. You have companies uh, from Japan like Medicom or from the US like Kid Robot and Super 7 that all they do is produce these toys and, and some of them are here. So this one I got a couple years ago. It's, it's one of my favorites is obviously it's Spock, but it looks like, you know, at first glance, almost like a Mickey Mouse Spock. It's actually uh, from a company called Medicom, and it's their Bear Brick series. Um, a while ago, back in, in the early thousands, they had a Kubrick series based on Stanley Kubrick's movies, and then they kind of uh, took that articulating figure design, added some ears, and created a Bear Brick series. So if you look at the profile, it's actually a bear, and they have hundreds of different themes and designs for the Bear Brick series, uh, whether it's original designs or licensed themes from, you know, the, uh, from licenses like Star Trek. So this was released to coincide with uh, the J.J. Abrams' Star Trek movie, and I just love its design. It looks very, very cool. Um, this is actually a 400% scale figure. When Medicom releases the original Bear Bricks, they're 100%. The full size, normal size ones are small. This is four times the size of that. And they actually have one they call 1,000%, which is then you know, two and a half times the size of this. It's a little bit out of my price range. This one's perfect to display in my room. Um, next up, I have this. Now, Medicom, the company that made the Bear Brick, they're a big company in Japan, but these days you don't need to be a big company to design your own vinyl toy. And this is the perfect example of that. This is called the Whale Boy. Uh, Whale Boy was uh, a character designed by an artist, Patrick Morgan, back in 2007, and he self-produced these. He just prototyped them, um, he outsourced it to a factory in Asia, and then he produced this amazing vinyl figurine, which actually has this quirky, derpy looking figure. I, I love the, the look of this character. It's like a little boy wearing with a zipper. He's wearing a whale outfit. In the back, there's a, a fish. And then his, his head actually pops out, and the figure came with several interchangeable faces. And I like this one the most. And this is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I think, I'm not even sure if this is even sung anymore. The domain, wellboytoy.com, actually doesn't even point to the store. So uh, again, these are sometimes limited. A little more mass produced, I mentioned Kid Robot earlier, and this is also one of my favorites. If you watch The Simpsons, you know this is Lard Lad, the donut shop from The Simpsons, and this is made by a company, Kid Robot. Uh, they have stores all over the US, I think in Austin and San Francisco, even in Las Vegas, and they're probably the biggest uh, vinyl toy company right now. And they have a ton of licenses, including Simpsons and Futurama. And most of them are small figurines, but this one is a, a larger one, and I really love the the uh, just the novelty of this. It really is bringing that cartoon to life. I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit academic on you. Uh, there's a, a essay I read in college. It was uh, many people have read this. It's the the art of mechanical, uh, the age of mechanical reproduction, written by Walter Benjamin in the, the 1930s. And it was this critique by an uh, art critic about um, moving into an age where uh, mechanical reproduction, photographs and machines would take away from the the purity and uh, an essence of art. And I think these vinyl art toys really would be Walter Benjamin's worst nightmare because these are real art and. These are mass produced. You know, they weren't. They were maybe originally designed by hand, but they were totally. That's part of the appeal of these figurines that they were. They're injection molded plastic, and yet they look so wonderful. And there are a couple books that celebrate these art toys that I really love. Also, this one is just called Art Toys, and it's a collection of photographs of vinyl figurines. This photographer, uh, Brian McCarthy, just went around taking photos of vinyl figures in interesting places and really legitimizing. And so here we have photos, digital photos of a mass produced toy and we could and mass produced in a book and I would definitely consider 
this art. Uh, another one of my favorite books, and this one is really awesome, it's called Toy Giants. And it's a duo of uh, photographers who went around and found collections of toys and then use a large format um, camera to take portraits of these toys. And so you have something like Gollum and a Barbie, but taken as if they're portraits. You can see all the detail just in, you, you can appreciate that production work, you know, the painting, whether it's done by hand or done by a machine or done in a factory of these low detail figures, which were never meant to be appreciated in these large format way and just taken like photographs. It's just wonderful. I, I, I love photography and I love toys. I've even dabbled in taking photos of toys. And so this is just something I love wanting, I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, so that's it for today's show and tell, this week's show and tell. If you have some other things, cool things you want to call out, or if you collect our toys, vinyl toys yourself, post some comments below. I'm Norm and we'll see you next week with another thing to show off. Bye.